Hi everyone, this is Mansi. Today I am showing you how I make this peach painting. I got this circle wood board from Amazon. I think it's perfect for a decoration piece. I know I am going to draw peaches on it. However, I need to figure out the proposition and how many peaches on this piece. Finally, I come up with three peaches. The next step is to figure out what kind of color combination I want this painting to be. So I am here using oil pastel. It does not have to be perfect. This step is just helping you to see what kind of color they are together with the pink and the leaves green. What's the background gonna be? Are they look good together or no, this color is not good. I need to change to that color. So this is the purpose for that. Next is gesso the board. Grab a big brush or an even bigger brush. The bigger, the better. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Here I am using white gesso, mix a little bit pink and a little bit gray color. So I try to make it uneven, like imperfect. I want to have a little bit like artistic, not completely 100% mix up the color, they still see some brush show those type of effect for my background. You can choose to paint it completely, mix well together, it's up to you. Wait until it's dry and put on my easel. You are ready to paint. Next it's get my good old palette and uh, my brushes. Then I am start to paint. Of course, I make that kind of fast because I think it's kind of boring. You guys watch the whole thing. But anyway, I start with just coloring uh, the out light, then goes to dark to light. So that's kind of a more traditional way to paint still life. If you want to see another video of more academic way to paint still life, I can make another one, but might be a little bit boring because that's how the way it's academic art. It's like, yes, I'm gonna say at the beginning it's really boring and it was really difficult to do it. However, after a lot of practice and figuring out, it's just so worth it the time I used to learn that way because it just a skill I have to say it, it, it's really a skill to understand how to paint or those like how to see things like the light dark um, I think that's it's really important for learning art I know in the United States it's not required that much because when I was in school here um, yeah, a, my professor does not require that much but because I've been to um, our school in China and Paris and the United States I have to say in Paris and China they are pretty straight with all those we call it the basic thing but in the United States here it's more about creative finish painting I decide to add like the Chinese calligraphy thing on it I am going to write peach in Chinese which called Tao on this painting I think it looks a little bit more like artistic because I have the character on it yeah so I'm doing that Next, I am going to put a string on the back because I am planning to hang this piece on the wall, like decoration. So I'm just here to using some string. I 
left over from last Christmas, I believe. And I'm just using a duct tape because the board is really, really light. Um, I don't think I need any like strong glue those things. This works perfect and easy. Well, I'm type of person, if you can make it easy, why make it harder? And this is how it turns out. I think it looks great. I just remembered I bought this fancy stamp thing this year and I have not been using it. Now it's a perfect time. Look at how fancy it is. It's red with those like dragon thing. Even comes with this like red gold fancy bag. So I can't wait to using it. Now I am standing it on. Voila! See how fancy it looks. I'm hanging this on my kitchen wall. Hopefully, I will see you on my YouTube channel and Instagram.